Here's a quick intro into the Schoology homepage. The items in the colored banner across the top will appear on all Schoology pages. So regardless of what page you're on, just click on your school name in the upper left area and it'll bring you back to this homepage. I'm currently logged in as a parent. If I click here, there's the parent, mom, dad, and three children. Let's switch over to one of these kiddos. Now it tells me here that I'm viewing as this student. If I click on courses, I can see all the courses she's enrolled in. And if she has more than this number, 12 courses, you can click here on enrollments to see a total list of all the courses she's enrolled in. This is a fake student and she's enrolled in a lot of classes. Parents can view parent content and student content when they're logged in as a parent. When the parent's name is displayed here, this will include content that's specifically related to um, families. Um, and then when the parent chooses one of her students, she'll be able to see the content that is related to that particular student at one school. And if, the child, if she has another child at a different school, she can click on that student's name and she will see content related to that student at the school he's enrolled in. Let's click on one additional student. So let's look at his enrollment. So these are the courses that he's currently enrolled. If we click on one of those students, it will open that course up and the parent can view all the content related um, to that particular course. And this, the parent can do that for any of the courses the student is enrolled in. So simply by clicking, she'll uh, enter each of those individual courses. By clicking on grade report, the parent can then view the content, um, the actual grades for any of his courses, clicking here. Okay, we're back on the parent page. The parent's name is showing here. There is a calendar. You can search a Schoology calendar. There is a message where you can message any of the uh, teachers that your children are enrolled with. Tap on the arrow next to your profile name. You'll see the students that we already looked at. Below that is a place where you can add a child if you have another child enrolled. And then make sure you have listed here the schools that match all the enrollments that your children are enrolled in. So that may just be one school or it might be two or three schools. Make sure they're all listed there so you can get information from each school. Uh, click on settings if you want to change your password or make other notification adjustments right there. 